Alrighty guys, I have a treat for you today. Today we're going to talk about some hilarious accusations and internal affairs complaints made against yours truly. Uh, I, well, I, I guess I'm going to kind of spoil the end a little bit and tell you I'm not going to play the calls that were made into internal affairs. I'm just going to talk about the actual substance of the complaint and I want to tell you, I'll show you, I'll demonstrate to you why these complaints are erroneous and why nobody is taking them seriously. I do have the calls that were made in reference to these complaints and I'm going to post those on Thursday. So stick around for that. I would put them all in one, but if I did, this video would be like 45 minutes and I'm trying to avoid making that happen. The person who is calling in these internal affairs complaints against me is someone who has found himself in a lot of legal trouble as of late. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to, he's trying to basically take every single thing he's been charged as a crime and say that I am the person who did this to him and that I did it under false pretense or I didn't have probable cause to file warrants or, or anything like that. Um, the person the person we're talking about today is none other than Wolf Bro. This, uh, his real name is Justin. You guys may remember him from the channel. He's been on both of my channels a time or two. And this picture that we're going to show right here, this was uh, when he was driving around, he pulled up on a SWAT barricade situation, refused to give his identification to officers who had a legal justification for a traffic offense and on camera had his window busted out. You'll notice that he has a cell phone pointed at the officers right there because he was live streaming when this occurred. And as a matter of fact, he's been on the channel a couple times. Each time that he's been on my channel is because I became, I was made aware of his arrest because he was arrested while live streaming. So he was broadcasting to the world that he was being arrested. That's how I became aware of his arrest. And I used that information to put him on YouTube. Um, one of the arrests, I never actually even pulled the body camera footage. I just used his own footage from his own live stream. Um, the funny thing is, since I run this YouTube channel and he has figured out who I am. He is making all these complaints saying that I have been filing false warrants for his arrest and that uh, the reason I'm filing a false warrants for his arrest is because he, because he thinks that he's like a star of my YouTube channel, that my YouTube channel would not exist if it was not for him. That's could not be further from the truth. The videos that had Wolf Bro on them um, didn't get that many views. I think they got like 15, 20,000 views, which is not a ton of views as far as I'm concerned. Um, if they got two, three, four hundred thousand 400,000 views, I'd say that he could possibly have a point. But regardless of that, what he's doing is he's going out in the public and he's telling people that I am filing false warrants for his arrest and I'm doing it for the purposes of putting him on YouTube. And to prove that he's telling people this, I'll bring up um, some comments that people are making on my Facebook page. And they're saying this corrupt police officer, and they're using my name, is a total disgrace to officers. I'm correcting the punctuation as I go. Imagine this rogue officer writes a false warrant for someone's arrest. The police give him the chip. I'm not sure what that means and he releases it while the case is still pending for profit. He tagged the FBI, uh, Columbus Division of Police, Louis Ann Stoy, who is a local reporter, the National Security uh, NSA, and some social phenomenon think tank. So he is spreading this information, and some people with small brains are believing this information. So what I want to do right now is I want to demonstrate to the entire world that it's impossible for his claims to be true. And there's a very easy way for me to disprove that. What I have done is gone to the Franklin County 
municipal courts web page. It's fcmcclerk.com. You can do it for yourself. You can type in Justin Higgins and you can see all of his criminal cases. He has 10 criminal cases that started around uh, November of 2020. If you go through those cases, oh no, my thing timed out. Here, I'm going to do this. Um, all right, I'm back. All right, so if you go through his cases from 2020, I'm not going to go through them all. There's too many, um, but you can see right here, November 2020, uh, he was charged with aggravated menacing, violation of protection order, domestic violence threats. And then you can look at the officers who are on this criminal case. You have Ed Chung, Michael Shannon, Joseph Hausberger, uh, Brian Brumfield, Susanna Bell. Um, this is a Comtech. Susanna Bell is on there twice. And then you also have the defendant, Justin Higgins. My name is not on it. My name, I you can pick any of these at random. Um, I'm just going to go down through. Violation of protection order filed on 11-19-21. Uh, you have Jack Randall, Sherry Duvall. She's a dispatcher. Uh, Seth Brownie, Browning, Daniel Hand. Those are not me. You can go through every single one of these cases and you'll find officers that are not me. So when you go around telling people that I'm filing, that I'm a corrupt police officer and I'm filing false warrants for your arrest, and then you get upset that I'm not being fired because of the accusation that you're making, you have to understand that the people who do these investigations have brains and they have experience and they know what it is that they are doing. And they can see that I have not filed a single warrant for your arrest. It's also worth note that he has um, been arrested or charged with these crimes so many times that his case was upgraded to a felony case. He's got a couple of screws loose. He has like a, an obsession problem and it's starting to show the only reason that I'm willing to even make a video response of this nature is due to the absolute volume of calls made in to my employer complaining about me trying to get me fired. He's encouraging his followers to do the same. And he's contacted several members of the media who have reached out to me for questioning about this. I believe that he is trying to do me harm and he's doing it under false pretense and spreading lies about me. Um, here is another one by a man. Well, this is his father. I will blur out his name. But he says this cop was put on administrative leave. They talked to him on Channel 6 News. He was he admitted to lying. Um, every single word of this is false. Um, I was never put on administrative leave. I was talked about on the news. I never admitted to lying. Then he says that uh, he was actually hunting my son. He's back to referring to this. Um, Justin has a problem complying with um, protection orders. At least that's what the allegation is. There's 10 separate times where he was charged and had warrants out for his arrest because officers saw evidence that they believed had enough probable cause that they filed warrants for his arrest. And once again, I was not the officer on any of those. So I don't understand how it is. You can say that I was out hunting him. Um, I will tell you, I know why he thinks this. Um, <laughs> I know I, I honestly, I kind of planted the seed in his tiny little brain. I, I thought that maybe my words would have a different effect, but I didn't, I underestimated his stupidity. I thought he was a smarter person. I gave him more credit than what I should have. Um, so this was sometime in 2020, um, September, October, November, I'm not quite sure, but I do know that Justin had five or six warrants for his arrest at the time. Um, he was still driving around and live streaming on social media. I thought that was rather brazen of him. It was kind of ballsy and I found it annoying. So 
one night I was feeling a little frisky and I may have had some alcohol in my system, probably whiskey, um, straight because I that's how I drink my whiskey. <laughs> but uh, I saw him live streaming and I thought I would mess with him a little bit. So I think I commented something like, you need to turn yourself in. You have warrants for your arrest. And I put it out there so that him and all of his followers could see this because he, I don't know, he's got some interesting people that worship him like he's some kind of savior. And I don't quite understand it. I wanted to kind of expose him to his followers. So that's what I did. And then I started getting all these replies back from him and his alternate account and from his mom and his, his dad. And they were saying, Wolf has been falsely accused of committing crimes. Wolf did not do these things. Wolf is a good man. Wolf has never done blah, blah, blah. And it was kind of funny. I thought, I felt like I had a captive audience and, you know, sometimes like a cat plays with a mouse that they're eventually going to kill. I started to kind of play with my food a little bit. And that's when I made the comment. Um, I can't wait to see the body camera footage of your next arrest. Unfortunately, that comment broke Justin's brain. Justin was unable to recover from me making that comment. He was unable to comprehend what it is that I was saying. And every time that he's ever called in about this or filed a uh, fictitious report about me, <laughs> called the media, all these things, I know what he's doing. I've even seen his live streams. I don't know if he's aware of that, but I have seen them because <laughs> I worked my way into one of your secret groups, Justin. But regardless of that, Here's what I was trying to do. This was a man who, well, this was a person. I don't want to call him a man. Um, he had five or six warrants for his arrest for violation of protection order. His wife was absolutely terrified that he was going to show up at the house at any given time and hurt her. That's the reason that she has protection orders. Um, with all of these warrants and him doing a lot of things to avoid being arrested, I wanted him to turn himself in. I wanted him to go to jail. And when I said, I can't wait to see the body camera footage of your next arrest, I knew that would set him off. I knew how pissed off he was when I put him on YouTube the first time. I knew what it did to him mentally. It destroyed him because I showed the world how freaking crazy this guy was and that pissed him off beyond belief. When I made that comment, I can't wait to see the body camera footage of your next arrest. I was trying to appeal to his ego and his narcissistic sense that he has about him. And I wanted him to think, you know what? Screw you. You're not going to see the body camera footage because I'm going to turn myself in. I think the best way to avoid being seen on body camera is to turn yourself in. That was my motivation for making that comment. I didn't quite realize that I was going to break his brain by making that comment and cause him to go on this tirade where he was going to make a lot of hilarious allegations against me. Um, I don't know. I, I thought it was funny. I know he didn't. I know it was probably ill-advised, but that is the reason I made that comment on his social media. It's also the reason that he's calling the FBI, the NSA, um, the DC police, um, internal affairs, the media. He's probably called CNN and Fox News. I don't even know. He Maybe he's called Donald Trump himself. Um, I don't know, but this has just gotten a little bit crazy. I wanted to make this video directly appealing to Justin to let him know exactly where the proof is that I have not done the things that he's accusing me of doing. And I wanted to also make this video so that everyone in the media that might see it, might come across it, can have a little bit of perspective on what's actually going on. The other thing I want to do is on Thursday, like I said, you're going to get to see the uh, 911 call or not 911 call, the call that he made to internal affairs about me. You'll get to hear it from his own voice. So I figured I would post this video as kind of a little, like an introduction to that video without going for too long. Um, you know, I, I forgot to mention there was another accusation that he has been making against me 
is that um, I was, and he's always using me as an example, but he's saying that I was harassing his mother at her home. The reason that he has come to this conclusion is because officers were going to his mother's house trying to serve warrants for his arrest. He had, like I said, five or six warrants for his arrest. What police officers will do when somebody has a whole bunch of warrants is they will go to all the known locations where this person has been hanging out. Uh, your mom's house is one of those locations where officers might look for you. And there's also a good reason they might be looking at that house, even though you haven't lived there in a while. One reason is because neighbors of your mother were calling 911 about a suspicious van with a different plate on the front and a different plate on the back and a man who jumped out of that van and ran through the neighbor's yard jumping fences and continued to run as if the police were after him the reason they called is because that's what you did when the police were on the way to your mother's house the police went to your mom's house trying to serve a warrant for you they found your van they investigated it I don't know what they did if they left the van there and sat up on it, hoping that you would come back, that they could arrest you. But I do know that they attempted to serve warrants at your mother's house multiple times. And you're saying that you were never there and all this other stuff. Well, I have a video queued up right now. This video is a police officer who responded to your mom's house on a call for service that you, Justin, made so justin called the police wanted a report gave his mom's address and told the officers that he would be there to speak to them uh this is that video and he's going to talk Hello, about justin me in this video good uh, what can i do for you ah uh, man sorry he's shaking hands uh Fist bump. Oh, cool. Come on, man. cool with that. I wish you hit hands if you want, yeah, but yeah. I don't know how everyone's weird with the I know, COVID man. stuff. So tell me, Justin, is this you in this video? Is this your mom's house? Have you called the police and had them meet you at your mom's house to talk to them? Is there a reason that the police might believe you were at that house? What time of day did you call this? Did this call happen between the hours of 12 and 1 a.m.? I do believe it did. I also believe that when officers were at your mom's house trying to serve warrants for your arrest, they showed up somewhere between 12 and 1 a.m. Because that's where they expected to find you at that time. I'll also tell you that on some of your live streams, there was evidence to show that you were actually at this house while you were live streaming live streaming with warrants for your arrest from your mother's house. That is the reason that officers were there. So at the end of the day, you can accuse me of a lot of things, but there has to be some truth to the accusations. If not, you have to stop making those accusations. When you start making a bunch of false accusations about a person, you go to that person's employer making those accusations that are 100% false and they can be proven false. You go to the media and you make these accusations and they are false. You disseminate it to your pea-brained followers who might be encouraged to act in a way that they think that they're going to support you by lashing out at me. What you're doing is illegal. Uh, defamation is it's very clearly defamation. It's something that you very well may see in a uh, court filing in the very near future. Having decided what I'm going to do yet, it kind of depends on whether or not you end up in jail with your upcoming court appearances. So, Justin, I would encourage you to start directing your energy towards your legal defense and listening to your attorney. As a matter of fact, when this video is released and when the internal affairs call is released, I would encourage you to have your attorney watch both of them because I guarantee your attorney does not know all of the things that you are doing. I guarantee your attorney did not tell you to call the police in this case. I guarantee your attorney did not tell you to call and file these internal affairs complaints. 
I guarantee you, your attorney knows better than you and you're not taking that advice. That's because of your ego and you are a giant narcissist. I think that's all I'm going to say today. I hope you enjoyed this little trip down. Uh, I don't even know what you want to call this crazy town. And then on Thursday, when that video comes out, um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy that. I'm looking forward to everyone seeing that video. I had a lot of fun making it. And uh, I don't know. I just, to me, one of the best things that I can do is shine light and expose some of these frauds that are going around the world. And Justin is one of those frauds. And hopefully uh, the justice system does what it's supposed to do. And we don't see him again for a very long time. That being said, I'm out. I'll talk to you later.